eyes on me An empty hallway A vision of you appears Dreams that haunt Of a night I'd like to erase Create my thoughts And I can still feel Death finds us everywhere A great night Somehow it turned to the air And take you And leave me to suffer alone But am I really? Oh, I can still feel Angels watch Why won't they talk to me On a still day The wind blows back my hair And I feel I feel you who's in the front of the house class. Why don't you explain what that is? All right, well, it has a different name. Can't think of it right now. But what it is is the restaurant's going to be opening tonight. And my class is actually going to be helping and serving, taking orders and everything, and actually going to be waiting on the people and serving them. So you're getting practice running a restaurant? Yes. And the class back here is food prep too which they're actually preparing, making, and going to be plating the food, which we're going to be serving. Oh, great. Do you know how many uh, reservations you have tonight? Uh, I do not know how many reservations, but we run about 20 last week. So I'm I, I think you're up to 40 tonight. I'm thinking around 35, 40 tonight. Oh, good. I can't wait to see what's being served. Well, please come in. Enjoy our food. Thank you very much. Hi. Guess what? We're on camera. All right, so what are you making tonight? I'm making the pasta dish. All right, what's in, uh, what's in the pasta dish? We've got, it's a uh, penne with roasted peppers and asparagus. All right. Hey, Scott. All right, this <laughs> here's Scott. To talk. What are you but making? I, I'm making uh, mashed potatoes right now. Mashed potatoes? Yes. What did you make before? I made rice pilaf. All right. Rice pilaf, what's yes. in the rice pilaf? Uh, there's tomatoes, peppers, uh, onions. We have some shrimp stock in there. And that's all gonna soak in and and shrimp as well, obviously. Um, and that's about it. All right, thank you very much. All right, thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Lindsay, what is he looking up in that book? Scott's looking up um, a sauce for his chicken. 
Oh, is, and that's what you're serving tonight? Is yes. It, does it have a name, like Chicken Savoy or? Chicken Volute. Ah, oh, it sounds good. <laughs> David Blumenthal, what are yes. you preparing tonight? I'm preparing some asparagus that we're going to grill uh, for one of the dishes. It's a uh, side veg for one of the dishes. Uh, I looks, believe it's for the pork tenderloin. Uh, that looks good. And what is uh, your friend uh, chopping up there? What's you chop in there, bro? Cilantro. That is cilantro. That is the worst tasting herb in the galaxy. Oh my god, you know, you either love cilantro or you hate it. Exactly. I love it. Do you like Mexican food? I love Mexican food. But you don't like cilantro. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's, the, that's the kicker. I don't like cilantro. So you can take some uh, really good Mexican food sometimes and, in my opinion, ruin it with cilantro. Oh, I love it. All right, well, we'll check back later when you plate your dishes. Well, what channel is this going to be on tonight? Ah, it's on the, f <laughs> yeah, it's on the Food Network, Network local right. cable TV. Oh, yeah? All right. Paul, can I, I ask it? you what you're doing? Uh, I'm just adjusting uh, some mashed potatoes here for these guys. We're getting ready for service in about uh, 10 or 15 minutes. So it gets a little hectic, right, like 10, 15 minutes before you have to start serving and preparing? Yeah, it's, it's real hectic right now. A lot of finishing touches. We're about five minutes away from going to the classroom, going back over the specifics about each dish, coming back in securing the stations, get every, getting everything in its place, and then we're going to be prepared for first orders. Well, it's, it's sort of preparation for what it's really like in a restaurant. I mean, it, right before, you know, that 8 o'clock dinner reservation time, it gets a little crazy. Yeah, totally. It's, it's totally controlled chaos if things are going well. If not, it's just chaos. I like that. Controlled chaos. <laughs> Mommy loves, Wuwa. Get back to Grandma. Hi. Florencia, that looks delicious. What is it made of? It's a tiramisu cheesecake. Tiramisu cheesecake, so it's like both tiramisu and cheesecake? I think so. Wow, that's a, that's a mighty good dessert. Yes, and we have also chocolate chips, ice cream sandwich cookies. Chocolate chip ice cream sandwich cookies. I'm definitely staying for dessert. Tell me your name. Ashley. Ashley, so this is the sort of less glamorous aspect of the restaurant business. Oh, yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> now, do you all take turns sort of washing this, or you're just responsible for whatever you use? Um, every week we take turns, so each person does it a different week. Wear okay. your gloves. You're going to get, like, uh, rough hands. That's okay. No pain, no gain, right? <laughs> I know. I don't want to bother you too much, but what are you preparing here? Uh, this is the red pepper sauce that's going to go on the bottom of um, the plate of pasta, and uh, we just have to heat it up a little bit. For and tell me, what, what are you going to do with the uh, oh, these basil are, leaves? Oh, these are the, the basil leaves, and what we're going to do, we're going to put them in the fryer, and we're going to use them as garnishes, okay. so we're going to fry them up nice and crisp, and then put them on the top of the pasta. Oh, good. That's a good technique. I am going to have to taste this ice cream. Is it vanilla? Yep. Oh. oh my god, it is so good. It's just like heavy cream and sugar frozen. Pretty much. <laughs> ah, yum. I'm Chris Shockley. I'm the Adult Ed Coordinator here at Huntington County Polytech. So I oversee this program. So I thought I would 
come down and see how everything's going and say hi. <laughs> well, good. Everything seems to be growing, going quite smoothly. And Raritan is pleased to have a joint program with the Hunterdon Polytech in food and beverage management. Well, we're pleased to have it. This is, um, I want to think this is our fifth year. And every year I just see it growing and growing. And the students love it. I think it's great that they get this hands-on experience and have the opportunity to work with customers. and. Um, it seems like the residents of Hunterdon County and Warren County and Somerset County enjoy it because our restaurant is full, so come on down and have some a good dinner. <laughs> so. Good. I can't wait to taste everything. Yeah, food is very good. We have great students. We're very proud of them. Uh, I'd like to come down here and just check it out and see what they're up to. It's really neat to, to see the behind-the-scenes action and see what's going on. So. And we have great instructors, so great students, great instructors. That's a great <laughs> recipe for yes, success. Yes, it's a good program, it really is. So we're happy to be with RBCC and have that partnership. I think um, we have another partnership with them, uh, with high school programs, so it's really, it's a good thing. So, <laughs> proud to be here, so thanks. <laughs> Welcome to the restaurant at the Hunterdon County Polytech, and who am I with? Sandy Cowan. And Sandy, do you have somebody in the program? I, I have a girl that works with me at um, a restaurant, and so I came to see her. Oh, good. And what about you? My name is Lori, and I have a very dear friend, the same friend as her, and we're very excited to uh, enjoy the delicious food. Have you been here before? Never. We're very excited. Oh, first time. And what about you? My name is Valerie, and my daughter is in the program. Oh, good. And uh, <laughs> is, she excited? is she excited that you're here tonight? Yes, she's very excited. And is this your first time? It is my first time. What, do you know what, um, what course she's in? Baking, food prep? She's in food and beverage management too, and she's in the um, bakery and pastry. Uh, we, we came and filmed the bakery uh, class. It was delicious. So good. I hope you enjoy your dinner. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, we love you. Good <laughs> Hi, Mom. How are you doing? Hi. This is my mom. This is my daughter. She's a volunteering program at Rest Valley. Hi, everybody. Bye. Bye. Ashley. Ashley. Woo. So, Michael, last week uh, we were in the baking class and you were making chocolate cups to hold some kind of dessert, right? Yeah. And now tonight you're going to serve them? Uh, actually, they should be served next week, but I will be serving other guests tonight with uh, another person's menu. But, but you saved one for me, right? Yes. Okay. So this is a large group. You want to tell me what you're all doing here tonight? Uh, well, we go out to dinner. We're the Highbridge Women's Group, and we go out to dinner once a month, and I'm the coordinator for dinners, and so we just choose places. We've gone here the last couple of years at least. What a great idea. I'm jealous. Well, we, like to, we like to support the Polytech program. It started out in Voorhees, which is close to where Highbridge is, and um, we just followed them. <laughs> and we knew Mr. Peabody when he was here. I don't know if he still works here or yes. upon occasion. I, I, I think he does. And you're uh, celebrating a birthday, right? Uh, tomorrow, actually, is my birthday. It's Pi Day. Oh, three good. 14, you know, Pi, 314. Oh, yeah. 3.14. <laughs> <laughs> good. And uh, have you eaten here before? Yes, uh, someone else. <laughs> Great. Well, I hope you all enjoy your dinner. Thank you. I know we will. So I'm here with Scott and his family and his girlfriend. And uh, what brings them here? Um, well, I have my night tonight for my dinner. Um, so um, they decided to come. And uh, they've, my mom's been here before. Uh, she hasn't. So, uh, but my mom always seemed to like it, you know, bring all types of friends, family, and stuff like that. So. Oh, great. So uh, what did you order for this evening? I ordered the shrimp pilaf, so and that's going to be really good. That's good. And does, uh, does Scott cook for you? Yes, he does. Oh, wow. That's a plus. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Have you eaten here before? No, I haven't. Okay, so I hope you enjoy your meal, and uh, good luck to you. Thank you. Thank you. Bill, you're teaching them how to use the um, computer? Point the point of sale system, yes. Yeah. So we go, uh, they have to enter the orders, they go into the kitchen. I'm going to step back so yep, he can go. Phil can go. Excuse me. Because we are live here, so. Absolutely. Um, yeah, this part, I mean, it's uh, part of the training. Every restaurant has a point of sale system. They Most of them run a similar way, so um, that's really the way it's done now. We don't have to write out hand tickets and carry them back so right so they really they're getting the full spectrum of how what it takes to operate a restaurant well with with all its ups and downs yes so they're learning a little crisis management and and but this is helping you know it helps organization but most of the kids now they're intuitive about 
computers and things like that, so it's uh, not very difficult. They really pick it up quickly, so that's the easiest part. Oh, and you have a, a great turnout tonight of a full house. Yes, we had unexpected late reservations, and a couple of people walked in, but all people that have been here, so kind of building up a regular trade, uh, which is a tribute to the students and what they do, because um, if you make somebody happy the first time, they're learning the value of repeat business, so that's, uh, that's what it's about. Good. Inside.